Hey guys. Sorry, trying to adjust my camera. So I'm back for an update, and I don't even know what kind of update it's gonna be, and I'm sorry if this is all like shaky, but um oh my goodness. Oh, stay. Okay. I'm just leaving work. Um I've been kind of MIA because my schedule has been so crazy. And right now I'm eating my lunch. Well, the rest of it, I have a beef stick left. Because I pretty much eat on the run because I have no, no time, no time to eat. So, what's going on? Hmm. Of course, if you're new, I've had um, VSG in June 2015, and then I had a DS completion on September 9th, 2016. I don't know the total I'm down because I don't want to do math in my head right now, but I was four, my highest weight was 496 before everything and um, my last weigh-in I was at the doctor today but I don't count those weigh-ins because it's always not first thing in the morning so my last for last Friday when I did my weigh-in I was 336.6 so I was out of the 340s which I was so excited about because I was kind of stuck at like 341, 342 for like several, for like three weeks. Um, and I know a stall is normal, but I was still like all freakish about it. And I don't think like, I don't think anybody that's been big ever is like, not worried after you have weight loss surgery and um, you had a stall. Obviously, we want to see that loss and um, whatnot. So, anyway, um, everything's pretty much going good. Um, my eating is really rough. I mean, I'm not like I'm not really eating like bad bad foods I mean, here and there but not really my issue is trying to find time to eat um, I I get up in the morning I'm not a morning person and I don't like eating in the morning and protein shakes to be perfectly honest I was I'm trying to have protein shakes in the morning but um, to be perfectly honest, they really just make me sick. They really just, I don't, they don't agree with me. So I have my water in the morning. I've been doing wonderful on water. I drink, drink, drink all day. I work from 7.30 to 8.30 in the morning. And, um, of course the first thing I do when I get up is I take, start my vitamins. I take some vitamins after my shift at 8.30 when I get home about 9, 9.30ish. I take my second round of vitamins and then I eat something. Like today I had a yogurt. Um, uh, it really depends. Sometimes I have string cheese, but my meals have been primarily snacks and I'm trying to get my protein in with that, like beef sticks, string cheese, um, Sometimes I do have like eggs and bacon in the morning. It just depends on on time. Today I didn't have time because I had a doctor appointment. Um, things like that. Then I go back to work at 11.30 and I work until two and come home. Usually during work I take, I have these little containers with lids and I usually put 
put a couple things of string cheese, a couple things of either beef jerky or a beef stick. And I'm sorry, this is all bouncing, guys. I'm on a really crappy road and I need a new uh, car mount. Um, and sometimes I throw some other, sometimes I throw some nuts in there. Uh, sometimes some carrots, which are just fillers usually. Um, or something to give me crunch. Uh, what else have I put in there? Uh, pickles. I mean, it really just depends. Uh, lunch meat, whatever. So then I go home. It's 2.15 now and I'll go home and I'll probably like do the same thing. I, I go to work to my second job either at 4 or 4.30 and um, I have kids stuff in between and, and there's all kinds of stuff that to be honest I really don't have time for and to be honest I'm on my feet a lot. Um, So, going from being sedentary a year ago, I mean, even, even four months ago, I wasn't as active. I mean, I was working out, but I mean, if I wasn't working out, I was just like chilling, like doing housework, but this housework isn't like what I do now. I'm on my feet constantly. And then I'll go to my second job where I'm either on my feet or up and down because I work with kids. So it's just very, my work schedule is very frustrating and it's very hard for me to keep up with a lot of things. Um, at home, it's hard for me to keep up with a lot of things with my health. Like I would, I would really like to get back to working out but I'm really exhausted and then to top it all off I mean I have kids so we have dance and you know all of the kids stuff let me check my mail um so that's kind of where I am with that, but I am still losing. And even though I may not be losing pounds all the time, um, I am losing inches. And it really just kind of um, clicked with me the other, actually, yet last night and today, is that my uh, at work at my second job, my night job, I wear a blue shirt and um, black, any kind of black pants, but I wear like black comfy pants, like, you know, stretchy pants, not yoga pants, but like just Walmart cotton, whatever. And they're so loose, like they're falling down. And then I noticed today my jeans, which I just wear like um, stretch jeans. I don't really wear button jeans. Um, if any of you have seen my story, you know I have issues with um, swelling on my right side. Um, my lower part of my abdomen just really doesn't, it's swollen a lot. Um, like what, it's not really, it probably is a form of lymphedema, but it's, I've never been diagnosed with lymphedema, but my like up here, like I'm thinning out down there. I don't feel like I am, but I obviously am because my pants are too big. So I'm going to have to find money in my budget to get some pants. I do have some smaller sizes, but they're smaller sizes that aren't going to fit just yet. So my mom just picked them up at garage sales and stuff like that. So anyway, that's kind of there, so I know I don't really take my measurements. I know I should, but I don't. And so that's kind of where that is. Um, uh, my doctor, because my right side always has swollen, 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 swollen. <laughs> oh Lord. Anyway, and 
I noticed like after every time I have surgery after surgery like my legs are not swollen and like even like my abdomen is not as swollen and I think that's due to all the fluids now I do drink a lot like I drink like this is my fifth one my fifth bottle of water today I don't I refill these because we have water at work um, I take one in the morning and then I refill it all day this is my fifth bottle of water and it's 220 and I will probably drink I don't know it depends on how my night goes but I'll drink a ton of these all night long so um, anyway so drinking water isn't really my prop my issue so she went ahead and she put me on a water pill so she just said to watch because when you lose weight when you have weight loss surgery a lot of times your blood pressure goes down I've never had an issue with high blood pressure and my blood pressure today was I think 160 no one six one, one something over 70 I don't remember anyway she said it was on the low side so and she said she wasn't concerned with my blood pressure um, but she when you take a water pill a lot of times it will lower your blood pressure so she told me to watch for dizziness and if I don't want to take it every day I don't have to take it every day just kind of fluctuate and see what it does with my swelling so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and um, yeah that's kind of about it for my update um, things were a lot I, I pertain my my stall probably to general a general stall but also to the fact that I had a lot of stress I had a friend living with me an ex friend um, she was staying with me she's probably been in some of the vlogs her kids have probably been in some of the vlogs that I've done and it turned out kind of badly um, it was stressful she was not working she was staying at my house she was not like really cleaning anything um, and it turns out that she was after we told her please don't drink alcohol in our house because we don't really drink alcohol in our house and our kids I mean if you've seen me talk about my kids my kids are adopted two of my kids came from uh, my older kids came from a home with a background of addiction and they don't like drinking they don't like even if I have a glass of wine my daughter don't like it so um, so yeah it's just we asked her not to she did she had some mental issues that she needed to take care of and she didn't do that and we kind of had to say look if you're not going to take care of yourself then you need to find another place to live and I didn't think I was as stressed out as I then I didn't during the whole thing I didn't think I was as stressed out but now that she's gone and it's over you know like I was stressed out like it was it was very stressful so um I'm sorry this is a long video I'm gonna try to cut it down a little bit maybe um, but I haven't updated in in a while and I just you know I I want these for me but I also want these for you I want if you guys are going through this process or thinking about going through the process I just I want you to see you know and I have kind of I have kind of a unique situation um, with having my DS in two separate parts and you know having my abdominal plasty beforehand to remove my mass and I just want that out there because I would have loved to see some somebody that was going through the same thing so anyways um, I don't know when I'll, I do have some other videos that I want to do I want to do like what I eat in a day maybe a day in a life that kind of thing but um, you know, like I said, my time is really, I don't have any. It's, it's sad. It's sad that all I do is work and sleep. 
but I like my jobs, so, um, yeah. So, it's 2.25 now. I'm going to go in and probably take a rest because I did have, um, a wart frozen off of my, look, oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, I look normal and then, look, I can create my own Snapchat filter. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm tired. Can you tell? So anyway, I had a wart removed from my foot, so my foot is throbbing. I need to like file it down and try to, you know, anyway. Y'all don't need to know that, but I'm going to go in and relax and wait for my kids to get home and then head to my other job. So I will talk to you guys soon. Hope you guys are well. Bye-bye.